meant to have, well, first of all, I, I tried to do things uh, as, as Don Paul Charlie done. So, but uh, to be a pakao, I, I, don't, I don't like people being pakao too long, actually, because I think um, in this country it's not so necessary. Don Paul Charlie once said to me uh, that his, his aim in Thailand at that time was for everyone to be pakao for one pansa, then summer name for one pansa, and then to, to Aditan, five pansa with him. In fact, Prabhunai is this. Prabhunai is the first five pansa, uh, new, new Prabh is known as Navaka. A Navaka, a, a, a Navaka monk has to remain under a teacher. A Navaka monk cannot just go off by himself. He has to remain under his son. He has to call his son from, from uh, some competent teacher. So normally, like especially in the Buddhist time, uh, a new monk would stay with his Upajaya. But in Thailand, because we have this system with only few monks of Upajaya, then, uh, then um, uh, a, new, a new monk will usually go somewhere else that has to call his side and stay with, with, uh, with uh, um, an elder monk for the first five, five years. But Dumpo Cha was, was very uh, uh, intent about this, that he wanted uh, anyone ordained to summertime five punsa and five punsa with him, not just as sort of ordained and then disappear. Is, 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 isn't that compulsory or obligation? Well, for me. I mean like five punsa. No, no, five, five punsa is, there's not, nothing compulsory about how long you would re remain a monk. Uh, any, anyone ordaining a monk uh, could, could, can, is, is free to destroy the but um, uh, if, if in, in, in the process of being a monk properly, the first five punsa, you are under the sun. So you're called Nawaka, that section is Nawaka. Uh, and then after five punsa, you're called Majima. So the next five months that you are in the middle. And during the, the Majjama period, gradually you can take some responsibility. So um, uh, uh, a new monk has to call aside from a monk who has, um, I think, six months or more. So it's, it's like that. You have to, ideally, sometimes it doesn't happen quite like this, but ideally you have, as, as, you, as you progress through your Majjama period, you take on more, or you are, allowed to take on more responsibility. And then ten pansa, after ten pansa, you can act as Upachaya, except in Thailand. Because in Thailand we have so many monks, we have this system that the um, Mahatera Samakom only allows certain monks to act as Upachaya. I think it's a good system. I have no problems with that. Because otherwise it would be quite chaotic and it would be difficult to, to be certain that the ordination procedure was being um, um, performed correctly. So we need to, 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 to be certain about that. So that's, that's what happens. So if you come to me, then uh, I'm, I'm very variable about the, the Pakkao period. Um, and, and I can be a bit flexible about some of the period. Um, when Manapa, you know Ajahn Manapa, when he came to me, I had two other months, two to, um, uh, to summon a, for on summon a. But to be honest, they weren't nearly as, as bright as him. So when, on the day he put me, these two, these other two, yeah, these other two, uh, uh, ordained as monks, ordained as proud. And then, as the next pansa came closer, I was faced with Manapo, who was much more, much more gay, much more tala than these other two, who would, who would be senior to him, who would be monks, and he was only a name. And I thought, I, I contemplated this for quite a bit, and I thought, this, this is wrong, this is hopeless. Um, so I didn't make him go through the panza. Before the panza, I ordained him as a, as a, as a prop, because I just felt the balance in our small community would have been really wrong. 
even so, it was a little bit difficult because he was still you know, the head of those two. But um, at least he was a monk. At least he was a pro. Would you be my mentor? Huh? Would you be my mentor? What? Mentor. Mentor. You'd be your mentor. mentor. No, you. Would <laughs> 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 you be teaching? My teaching. Would I be your mentor? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> No, I wasn't implying that. <laughs> <laughs> so to be a man in, in Europe and in a man in Thailand, 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 if you want to be a man, you just go to the temple. After well, you see, you see, you see in, 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 there are different traditions in Thailand, which you may not be very aware of. So basically, you've got in, in Thailand, basically, you've got Wat Phan, so you've got the, your your village in Thailand Wat, and you've also got the forest Wat. And then also, in, you've got Tamayut and Mahanika. Mm -hmm. But actually, forget about Tamayut and Mahanika because there's not much difference anymore. Truthfully, there's not much difference now. The, 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 the big difference is between Wat Ban and Forest Wat. And, and Wat Ban, yes, you can go along and right there and then ordain as a monk. And you can spend one day, two days, five days. It's a waste of time. Frankly, quite frankly, it's a waste of time. Uh, the forest walks won't do that. Uh, the nearest, the, 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 the smallest period that Lung Cha would agree to um, was every year at Wat Ba Hong, um, we would have some government workers, teachers and so on, who get 100 days leave to, to, to all day. So we would get a group of those. So they would come for the punctures, so they would be doing at least the whole punctures. But even those had to come and be pakao, and then then summoning, and then you would ordain them as, as pra. So they would, but that was, that was the minimum. Otherwise, occasionally, if people want to do a temporary ordination, pakao. Occasionally, summoning, nothing further. For me, if someone wants to ordain in short term, and I've done this a few times with Paramana. Then I'll say Samane, okay. Because Samane is not very difficult. You know, to, to board name is not very complicated. Um, I can do that on my own. I don't have to have a group of monks with me. It's not a um, uh, gun in that sense. I don't have to have a group of monks. I can do it myself. Um, and the, the um, uh, precepts of the Samane aren't that complicated. Uh, so, you know, you can say to someone, come and put name and, and teach them something. And it will be a meaningful experience. Uh, because in that short period of, of a few weeks or a few months, months or something, they will learn something about it. If they try to be a monk, it is too complicated uh, and to do properly. Because the, 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 the pratwinai of a monk is very extensive. And some of it is very serious too. And sometimes uh, monks ordaining for short periods break some of the serious rules without knowing it. And that can sometimes mean they can never ordain again. If a monk is parajika, he can never ordain again. Um, and even, even a, a lesser like Sambhasisism, um, it's very complicated. And people don't understand that. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're, we're careful about all that. Uh, the the Wattbahn often just don't bother. So, but, uh, you know, from what I've heard from, from, from some people, it's been almost a waste of time. The only time it's been different has been, and this has happened, when someone ordained at a Wattbahn for two weeks, because they're going to get married or something, having ordained, um, then in a few days' time, starts getting interested. And this has happened. And I know one monk who got very interested, uh, or starts to get a bit, I'm not sure he's getting very interested, but he came to Wapa Hong. And, um, and he was quite surprised by what he saw. And quite surprised at the chanting in the sala that evening. Because in our evening chanting, morning and evening chanting, usually at Wapa Hong, we include the contemplation of the body. So we recite the whole first two parts. 
terms of kids that could come down there, or that could come down there, all that. And he sat there, thinking about all this. And the consequence was, he decided to not this room. What happened to the, his intended bride, no one knows. But, um, but uh, 40 odd years on, he's still a monk. And, and, and another I knew came up to, to Wat Pa Pong. And he, he had um, he, he'd been leading not a very good life. And he'd left his, his wife and children, and he was going to go off with someone else, and they were going to go to America. And, um, and he was out on the town with some, some friends, and got into a bit of trouble. And uh, someone pulled a gun off. And, uh, and the, the thought that went through his mind, as he's standing there facing this chap with a gun, was, I haven't ordained yet. And when they bought I don't know whether it would be the first thought for many people, but that was his first thought, as he sort of stared death in the face. He hadn't yet been a monk. So anyway, he escaped from this, this problem, uh, and then decided, well, he'd he better ordain, because he was going to America anyway, he wouldn't have the chance, so he couldn't leave it any longer, so he was going to ordain for, I don't know, a week or two or something like that. It wasn't very long. Um, and uh, he quickly got interest and uh, decided you know, he couldn't bring himself to this room. And his girlfriend was coming visiting, and he was hiding around the desk. <laughs> he told me all this. And, uh, and eventually, and eventually, he was hiding because it, it, around the back of that one, it was a cremation one, and they had a place where they used to keep the bodies. And he was hiding amongst the, amongst the bodies there, um, when she came to visit, when she came to see him. And in the end, he sort of escaped and came to Wat Pa Pong. And, and I knew him quite well. He spoke a bit of English, he was an interesting chap. So, you know, there's some, sometimes it works out. Sometimes, you know, people are ordaining for five days or a week or something, do get something from it. But by and large, it's, it's, it's even a bit harmful, frankly. And it drags the sun down a bit too. Because you've got people, a lot of people around who are not really interested in, in, in what you're doing. And just sort of hanging out and, and waiting for their time to be over. And so they can go back home. <laughs>